Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Federal judge drops crushing Ambilon Mueller investigation, delivers Trump victory. The jury is currently locked in deliberations in the trial of former Trump campaign executive, 69-year-old Paul Manafort as mainstream media outlets The Washington Post, New York Times, AP, CNN, NBC, Politico, and BuzzFeed all requested the court release the names and addresses of jurors. Manafort is accused of earning more than $60 million as a political consultant in Ukraine, and that he failed to report a significant percentage of on his tax returns, therefore defrauding the IRS. Manafort was targeted as part of special counsel Robert Mueller's team of investigators looking into the supposed collusion between the Trump campaign and Russia. U.S. Senior District Judge T.S. Ellis appointed by Republican President Ronald Reagan and is among a small, select handful of judges in America that know just how deep down the rabbit hole the deepest secrets of the Russia investigation go. He denied the motion for media organizations to make public the names of the jurors in the trial saying he personally has faced criticism and threats and does not want the same for jurors. Ellis cited the peace and safety of the jurors and the integrity of the process in denying the motion, then revealed to the packed courtroom that he is now under 24-7 protection from the U.S. Marshals as a result of the threats he is currently facing stemming from this trial. I have the Marshals' protection. I don't even go to the hotel alone. I've received criticism and threats, Ellis said, I'd imagine jurors would, too. Ellis added. I had no idea this case excited this emotion. I had no idea how this case would be perceived by the public and the press." When Manafort's team of attorneys asked him, unsuccessfully, to dismiss a slew of charges against their client accusing him of tax evasion and bank fraud, Ellis demanded Mueller's office hand over, without any redactions, an otherwise highly classified memorandum containing the scope of his authority to investigate Donald Trump's former campaign chairman and other crimes. Ellis noted his concern of the unfettered power seemingly possessed by Mueller in probing ties between President Donald Trump's campaign and Russia. Judge Ellis is having none of it, as Reuters reports Dash. A federal judge said special counsel Robert Mueller should not have unfettered power in probing ties between President Donald Trump's campaign and Russia, and accused Mueller of using criminal cases to pressure Trump's allies to turn against him. At a tense hearing in a federal court in Virginia on Friday, U.S. District Judge T.S. Ellis III sharply questioned whether Mueller exceeded his authority in filing tax and bank fraud charges against Trump's former campaign manager, Paul Manafort. Ellis said the indictment appeared to be a way for Mueller to leverage Manafort into providing information about Trump. The vernacular is to sing, he said. You don't really care about Mr. Manafort, the judge said. You really care about what information Mr. Manafort can give you to lead to Mr. Trump and his eventual prosecution or impeachment. It's unlikely you're going to persuade me the special counsel has unfettered power to do whatever he wants," Ellis, who was appointed by Republican President Ronald Reagan, said at a hearing on Manafort's motion to dismiss the Virginia charges. Like most motions to dismiss, Manafort's was initially viewed as a long-shot bid to win his freedom and get out from under Mueller's thumb. Charged with an obscure law in place since the 1930s under the Foreign Agents Registration Act. Manafort is quite literally being tried for criminal charges under an obscure law that has been used only six times before, for a crime of which surely more than half of Washington is currently guilty. Normally such a violation in nearly all cases is treated as a regulatory violation and punished with fines at best. Of note, Democratic darling and lobbyist, Tony Podesta, brother of Hillary Clinton's campaign manager John Podesta, was guilty of the same crime, yet not one single federal prosecutor saw fit to bring charges against him and Mueller himself offered him immunity, while continuing the trial against Manafort for the exact same crimes. Yes, there are issues of tax evasion, allegedly hiding income, and depositing money in offshore banks, but not one single bit of those crimes relates to anything remotely involving alleged Russian collusion to elect Donald Trump president during the election of 2016. According to Judge Andrew Napolitano, the criminal charges themselves clearly don't match up to the original purpose of the investigation. Both were accused of working as foreign agents and failing to report that status to the federal government, using shell corporations to launder income and obstruction of justice by lying to the federal government. The alleged crimes of Manafort and Gates appear to have nothing to do with Trump, nor have they any facial relationship to the Russians. So why were these two indicted by a grand jury hearing evidence about alleged American assistance to Russian interference with the 2016 presidential campaign? That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.